This is a demonstration of the chlorine drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. Once you have collected an accurate sample, the next step is to add 10 drops of potassium iodide. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial for 5 seconds to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. If the chlorine concentration is high, the sample may turn slightly yellow at this point. The next step is to add 5 drops of starch indicator. Hold the bottle vertically and remember to swirl the vial for 5 seconds after the addition of each reagent. If the chlorine concentration is high, the sample may turn slightly blue-black at this point. The next step is to add 3 drops of sulfuric acid 50%. Remember to hold the bottle vertically and swirl the vial 5 seconds to mix the reagents. If chlorine is present, the sample will turn a blue-black color. In caustic solutions, more drops may be necessary. The next step is to perform the titration. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. You will use sodium thiosulfate titrant. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. Count the number of drops during this step. The titration is complete when the sample is changed from a blue-black color to colorless or the sample's original color.